I believe everyone has a dark stage in their life, a time in their life that they try to run from. But not everyone gets blessed with a break from running. Some people are trapped in a distressing chapter that never ends. They're stuck in a world with no hope of a better tomorrow. I happen to be one of those people. I'm one of those people that gets told to cheer up or not to worry, as if I haven't tried that already. People think that depression is just a mere sadness, it's not. Depression is like quicksand, it's like drowning in a pool of misery. It's a silent battle, I've been suffering for years ever since my mother passed away, and no one even knows it. So sorry this happened to you, Mom. I wish it was me instead of you. But I'll take care of them, Mom. I'll take care of all of them. Just like you did. I'll make you proud. Where's everybody else? Yes? Hey. So, uh, dinner's on the table. Dad's waiting. What's for dinner? Uh, it's a surprise. Dinner's on the table. I'll be a minute. Well, dinner's ready now. And I'll be a minute. <laughs> Soup again. Surprise. Alright, first of all, you haven't even touched your plate. And secondly, if you didn't spend it all on drugs, you wouldn't need gas money. And third of all, why the hell do you need gas money? Well, for your information, you don't tell me what to do. And I need gas money so I can go out with my social group. You know, the group that's been helping me get over the drugs? Or did you forget that? No, I did forget because of how addicted you were and you wasted away all your money. You're such a jerk. What gives you the right to judge me and tell me what to do? Uh, the fact that I'm your older brother, which gives me the birthright to tell you what to do? A dad is sitting right there. He's the only one that- All he does all day is fill up and empty his glass. I'm the only one who's got any common sense around here. All I wanted was to have a nice family dinner just like when mom was here. Everything was perfect when she was here. We were all actually happy. A family. Now everything's ruined. Oh, and that's my fault? Oh, come on. You know I don't mean that. You're always I'm telling me you. I've been trying to get back. You haven't answered your own I can't take this anymore! Great. Just great. Look what you did now. You scared her off. Me? It's not like I was the one yelling. Do you hear yourself? Do you even hear yourself talking? No, I can't even...
There it is again. That sinking feeling. Like I'm back in my mental quicksand. Just as I felt like I was being pulled out of it. It was my fault. Where do you think she got the pills? Daryl had convinced me things might get better. But after Mabel passed, I realized there's no hope for our family. Or for me. So what's the point in trying? I'm so sorry, Clark. I just, I just can't take the pressure anymore. But you'll be okay. I know you will. You're strong and smart. I love you, Clark. Dear God, normally I would ask you to give me your strength. During these dark times, I would ask you to heal my pain. But today I ask for your understanding. I can't go on with this life that I've been given. Throughout my time on this earth, You've watched over me, loss after loss. I can't take it anymore. All I ask is that you watch over my beloved sister. Take care of her as I would. And please, don't let her walk the path that I am. <laughs>